Are, are we live? Are we Batsy? Are we live? Yeah. Wanski. Yo. What's happening? Uh, welcome to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. I'm the Fat Man. <laughs> and let me just say, with a fat dick. I am so I am so excited to be back. We have been away for quite some weeks because we've had natural disasters here in the South Florida region. Uh, Hurricane Irma. We hope everyone made it out safely. Um, and and now and and uh, oh yes, Batsy, please, please, please bring me my frosty beverage, Batsy. He's like my PA. That's that, that's personal assistant right mm-hmm. there in uh in 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 uh in video talk. Yeah. So, anyways, um, so hope everyone was safe. But we are back, and we are excited more than ever to be here. Uh, just a heads up, right up front, we're gonna be explicit, which means if you guys don't know what that word means, it means we say things like shit, fuck, bitch, asshole, whore, blowjob, whatever it is. But anyways, anyways, I'm glad to be back. How are you? How do, are you glad to be back? No. You're not glad to be. Why? Huh? What did you do for the hurricane? Ate a lot of Fruit Loops. You ate a lot of Fruit Loops. Okay, I I actually had Spaghettios, which were amazing. That's way better than Fruit Loops. Spaghettios were amazing. But let me just say, like, like being away for so long and then coming back, it's kind of like when like you tell yourself for a week, you're like, I'm not gonna jerk off for a week. It's not gonna happen because when I finally do, it's just gonna be amazing. And then when you do, it's like, it's amazing. Oh lord. Right? Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyways, so so here we're, we're here to talk about um, quite, 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 we're here to talk about quite a few things. Anyways, the main mm-hmm. thing. The, um, let's start right off the bat. Uh, this is the hottest news happening right now, and it's Toys R Us, and uh, Toys R Us has filed for bankruptcy. Does this mean we're gonna lose Toys R Us? Possibly, we're definitely gonna lose some stores. They're gonna close some stores. I think we can agree. On yeah. That. So it's gonna be like just just basically restructuring. So it's kind of like what Sears is going through? No, but Sears is definitely shutting down. No, Sears is gone. Sear- There's still some Sears stores. Yeah, but they're f- slowly phasing out. Like, in a few years, there will not be any Sears. I mean... Toys R Us is just trying... I think it's like a type of, like, debt consolidation thing. And it protects them. It protects them from creditors until they can get their shit together. I call bullshit. I think Toys R, Toys R Us has gone on to the point of no return. They are on a, on a road to being non-existent. Now, will it be six months from now? Will it be six years from now? I don't know. But Toys R Us, your days are numbered. And that hurts my feelings because I have a special spot for well, Toys R Us. Well, that's basically retail on the whole, though. Uh, I, 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 I mean, I know it's terrifying because you own two comic book stores, but yes. retail as a whole is... is Re- retail as a whole is that is that is threatening, but, but Toys R Us is going to be one of the first to go, just like Sears, Kmart, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, reason being is for big box stores like Walmart, uh, Toys R Us just can't compete, even though the toy department at Walmart sucks a fat dick. It's well, I, I think Amazon is actually what really hurts uh, them more a- than Am- anything. Amazon hurts. Uh, other, like... Um, uh, online toy stores, which we won't name because uh, we are clients of theirs, some of them. So we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> but uh, uh, it, it's sad because, I don't know, I, I remember going to toy stores as a kid, even as a teenager, even as an adult. And there's just something. Uh, oh, you still remember the jingle, right? It, it, I, uh, yeah. Why? You want to sing it? No. Come on. Let's but it's s- definitely a part of all childhood. I don't want to grow right. up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. There's a million toys of Toys R Us that I can play with. From bikes to games and video games. It's the best little place there is. I don't want to grow up. Because if I did... Yeah, I wouldn't be a Toys R Us kid. I wouldn't be a Toys R Us kid. Don't want to grow up. Don't want to grow up. Big part of our childhood. I want to be a Toys R Us kid. It, it it is it it is a big part and uh, uh, Jeffrey the draft so mm-hmm. I don't know Toys R Us good luck to you people go shop at Toys R Us it's, but it's just it's so overpriced it's 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 not much more than Walmart was uh, it like ten cents yeah but compared to Amazon you know I mean again they can't compete with Amazon listen I'll tell you what like for those of you I don't know how old the audience is but I miss KB at the mall I miss KB but KB had some ridiculous deals back in the day. KB also has some ridiculous expensive toys too. Yeah, yeah. I remember you can get a Toy Biz X Men action figure for five dollars at Toys yeah. R Us, and it was eight to nine dollars at KB. They had a lot of KBs in the malls and stuff, right? Every mall had yeah, a KB. That, that's what it was. Every mall had a KB. 
Well, I think that's what it was. And now, now the toy stores that are in the mall, if there's even a toy store in the mall, are, is, there are none, are there? It's a Toys R Us Express. Oh, that's what I've, they call it, which is garbage. It's not that. I've been good. in the mall in a very long time. Yeah. So, anyways. That's not true. We were there fucking like two weeks ago. Yeah, right. But I haven't explored. I don't know what exists outside of the route we took exactly to where we wanted to go. Yeah, it's not that great. I don't know. Maybe it's just because we're getting older. I think malls are just dying. I don't know. I think I think people and children and just in general are not leaving their house. You know, <clears throat> you don't uh, have to anymore. Uh, like it's it's you know, and this is why retail is doing bad. This is why uh, restaurants aren't doing so hot. You know, people are doing takeout and delivery. You know, people aren't going in to eat a lot anymore. People aren't going to the movies as much. You know, um, streaming services is really, really taking over. We're, we're really like on a path to the Wally verse, where mm -hmm. we're just literally just sitting in one place, having things brought to us, and we don't move. Right. It's scary, no? Well, I'm already super fat, so. <laughs> well, well, nothing to fear from Wally verse for me. I don't know. Well, in fact, just getting a wheelchair for free would be kind of cool, so. <laughs> a hovering one, right? Yeah, yeah, like the head. yeah, exactly. Yeah, with the screen that just the pops up giant slurpee and as a time. slurpee just all the time, just just, just like feeds you. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got to cross it over. What's that? Uh, that movie with uh, Bruce Willis. Also. Twelve monkeys. No, where everyone's in surrogate. Yeah, underrated movie. Yeah, that movie is so good. If it you was haven't, fantastic. if you haven't seen Surrogate, go fucking watch Surrogate. But that movie is great. We're heading there. Well, it's scary. Go to Toys R Us. Come to Cork and Comics. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Search Cork and Comics, and you'll get all that fun stuff. Anyways, uh, but that that segues into our next uh thing, and and that was a really shitty summer movie season. Um, lowest, lowest domestic intakes, um, in like five six years. Actually, I think in a really longer than that. It was like mm -hmm. three point something billion, which. You know, you say that number, you're like, that's a lot of money. But compared to last year, it was like four point something billion. You losing a billion dollars in box office sales mm -hmm. is is that that, that hurts that had the to industry. Be the, the quality of the movies, though, this summer was just trash. Uh, I mean, it, I don't think this summer was any different than last summer or the summer before that. I mean, li listen, ki kids, kids, cats and kittens, we're we're basically at the end of summer. We're going into the fall season now. Um, and we, Juan and I saw a lot of the movies. We, you, I'm sure you guys have seen some of our reviews. Some of them were good. Some of them were dog shit. And some of them we didn't even bother seeing. Some of them we wanted to see. We didn't get to go see. Like the mm -hmm. uh, Planet of the Apes movie. We haven't seen that. So, yeah. uh, But uh, like the number one movie this summer is Wonder Woman. Okay. Followed by Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And I don't even know what number three. Can you pull up Box Office Mojo? Um and 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 on your phone, this is the, the, I'm 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 endorsing Juan getting on his phone, on, unlike other times when he's interrupted. But uh, it, it's it's been a lackluster summer. And as much as I love superhero movies, it is um, it's 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 about it, it, every summer seems to be the same. It's the same superhero movies with the same themes, and and uh, Hollywood really needs to change it up. Now they just came out that movie. Well, well, let me, let me, let me, let me, ah, here we go, here we go, so, I'll pull this up for us, so, according to Box Office Mojo, and this is the year to date, and this is worldwide, um, basically, um, oh, this is domestic, actually, yeah, no, we don't want that, talk to the audience real quick while I, while I figure this out, here we go, I've been watching Wentworth, it's really good, it's much better than Orange is the New Black. Hate Orange is the New Black. Pretty fucking terrible. There's nothing kitschy about rape. They make it all like fun, and all these people are like victims of, of society. So Wentworth is really good because it's like an Australian version, except things are actually brutal, and there's actually bad people who are bad just because they are bad. Society didn't do anything to them. You should watch it. Pretty good show. Do I have to keep going? This is really fucking terrible. Keep, go, keep going. Keep going. Oh my god, dude! I don't think I can. You could do it. Keep going. Um, I'm terrible at relationships, all types. So I'm not good at talking. That's why this is super fucking awkward. Okay, here we go. We got. We're good. We're good. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. So according to Box Office Mojo, and they're figuring the, the late winter, spring season tier too. But so far, year to date, 2017, Beauty and the Beast is number one. Did you see Beauty and the Beast? No, I did not. I didn't either, but I heard it's just like the cartoon. And I love the cartoon, so I can't, I can't say that the live action would be bad. It's probably good. And I could totally see why it's number one. Came in one... one is that right? Mm-hmm. One point two billion dollars. Oh, we're, we're yeah, yeah. China, man. Well, yeah, five hundred of that was domestic. Seven fifty. Yeah. Was international. Well, that's why they're remaking all these Disney movies. Fate of the Furious as number two so oh, far worldwide. Um, um, which that's no surprise, you know. Uh, Despicable Me three coming in number three. Uh, and then get this, Wolf Warrior Two is the number four top grossing movie worldwide. Now, I feel like I gotta get watch this, it now. Wolf Warrior Two only did two point seven million in the United States, but it did eight hundred and sixty seven million in the rest of the world. So I clicked on it. I was like, "What is Wolf Warrior Two? Not one, but just two. It's got the number two after it. Can't be that good, right? It's it's some Asian movie, the Asian star." I guess he's called Wolf Warrior. I don't know. We absolutely did nothing to explain that. That was awful. I, I, I don't know. It, that's all I know. It, it's got an explosion on the poster, too. Or something. Well, I 100% want to see it now. All right. Well, it, <laughs> and then gar- followed by Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I will be giving a review of Wolf Warrior 2 next week. <laughs> Spider-Man Homecoming, Wonder Woman in at number seven, Pirates of the Caribbean, Logan, number nine, and Transformers The Last Night, number ten. Oh, it's just now, not a lot of good movies. Not man. a good. I mean, if we go through this list, what came out this summer? You had uh, um, Despicable Me 3, Guardians 2, oh. Spider-Man. Wonder Woman, Pirates, whatever the fuck number they're on, Transformers The Last Night, Dunkirk, Boss Baby, War of the Planet of the Apes, Mummy, um, Cars 3, Resident Evil The Final Chapter. I didn't even know there was another Resident Evil Yeah, movie. neither did I. Look at that. Alien Covenant, Baby Driver, Valerian, Smurfs, mm. The Emoji Movie, Baywatch, Ghost of yeah, the Shell. Yeah, a lot Shell. of shit movies. King Arthur, Power Rangers. No, Power Rangers was in the spring. I, I mean, I can keep going. It's, it really wasn't that good. No. Um, the, now, year, the year as a whole. The year as a whole was, was I mean, so far, year to date, right. I think I think Logan is the best movie I've seen. So 100%. Far. It's the only movie worth recommending this year. Now, granted, I have not seen Get Out, which a lot of people that I trust tell me is a really good movie. And I have not seen Baby Driver, which is also highly recommended. I wish my friend would have gone to see it after dragging me to shit like Transformers and The Mummy, but he didn't. I so think, I've yet to see Baby Driver, I but think, other than that, Logan is it. I think Transformers 3 was probably the worst. Or 4, whatever. What, what, number, what number was it? I don't know, 5? Transformers Too Many yeah. um, was the worst movie I've seen. And it did horrible. No, it did like 80 million. Oh, no, it did like 120, I think. Whatever the fuck. But it wasn't, it wasn't that good. So, um... Really, I don't know the the mummy for me. The the mummy, mummy was... did the mummy is what did eighty in the U.S. Mm-hmm. But but it did like three hundred and something worldwide. Yeah. So it w- it made over four hundred. You know yeah, that's insane. But to me, I think that's probably the worst movie this summer. All right. So in your opinion, worst movie of the summer is the mummy. I would have to go with the mummy. Out of everything you've seen, of course. You know, uh, the mummy Transformers is a toss up. I don't think there's a wrong answer, but I'll go with the mummy. Wow, even though Tom Cruise doesn't make bad movies. He he finally did, man. I don't know about that. I'm kind of sad. Oh. Thank God he's doing some cocaine movie. <laughs> he is. A, yeah. But yeah. It, it's like Blow, too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, so, uh, what's the best movie this summer? Ooh. That you've seen. Obviously, we, like we said, we haven't it's, seen all the movies. So. This summer? This summer. And, and we're basically starting in April, May. To present day. Well, summer actually has a start date, isn't it? Like June twenty first. It summer? does, but let's be real. The summer se- movie season starts. Uh, you know what it is? I April think you April. know, like someone they they fucked it up. It, it's school fucked us up forever, right? 
Because to me, summer is summer vacation. I I agree. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, agree I don't think summer is April. Like, no, fuck no. I'm still in school. You know, we were still in school then. So. I, I don't either. But let's be real. Like, first week of May is when really the shit comes. Although this year they did stuff early. Like, they had Beauty and the Beast come out in March. Fast and Furious came out in March. Logan yeah. came out in March or February. Logan was like February, man. Yeah. 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 So, like, like they, they're, they're really, like, spreading it out and not saving everything for the summer. But the summer this year, w- w- what was your best movie that you saw? Well, I'm not going to say best. I don't think there, there were any like best movies out there or anything and that was incredible. you got to pick the best movie you've seen this summer. I'm going to have to go with Wonder Woman, man. Oh, my God, dude. Join the fucking bandwagon, dude. It I was the movie I enjoyed the most. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I did. Wonder Woman was good, but it wasn't that great. And I think I think it's getting a lot of lot of a lot of um a lot of additional praise because because it you know it's a strong female lead, which is great. I, I mean, I'm I'm not knocking that at all, but that doesn't make it this monumental, groundbreaking piece of cinema. It's no, just I not. just I liked it because it was just entertaining, man. Really? I had a good time. That the whole third act was horrible. In, in the airport with, with I mean, look with at what Aries, it's com- what's it competing with, man? It's competing with, with like- a bunch of garbage floating in the sky. Yeah, man. Whatever. All right, my worst movie of the summer that I've seen so far um, would be Transformers: The Last Night. Yeah, that's fine. I think that movie was just a p- big piece of dog shit. Yeah. Um, and and honorable mention is gonna go is gonna go to Alien Covenant. No. I think yeah. you're wrong. No, because Alien Covenant, first of all, wasn't Alien Covenant. It was Prometheus Covenant. Uh, yeah. And it was just, it was horrible. The fact that, spoilers, David, the android, created the aliens that we know and love. Like, like go suck a dick. Like, seriously. Um, best movie for me that over the summer that I've seen, um, it's going to have to be, uh, I think, Spider-Man Homecoming. As the best? <sighs> for the su- best summer movie. You're going to say that that Wonder Woman is better than Spider-Man Homecoming? Uh, Michael Keaton alone makes makes the movie better than Wonder Woman. Yeah, um, the villains were great. I just had a problem with every other fucking person in that movie. The only thing I had a problem with was Zendaya, you know? It was Zendaya, yeah. Zendaya was great until she... I thought until the Flash, the Flash was awful. I hated Flash his friend, awful. like I told yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, again, it was funny. It was a great Spider-Man movie. It's a great foundation so, for a series. But but not better than Wonder Woman? No. The the set pieces in Wonder Woman were... That's what you think of a summer movie, right? Summer movie is not supposed to be an intellect, right? It's just popcorn and shit blows up. And I think that... Well, then, you would then, then with that said, well, Transformers shouldn't be the worst movie. Because that's all it is. Popcorn and shit blows up. I mean, touche, but like, fuck you, man. Like, just go with the conversation so we can, like, (laughs) fill in the time. (laughs) So what I'm saying is that I think Wonder Woman had... Wait, true story, true story. I I need to interrupt you. I went to go see Transformers Part 1 with your brother, okay? All right? And his brother is an Air Force vet, by the way. And he he got out of that movie. I I, could have sworn he creamed himself. He's like, that's what a summer movie is supposed to be. He was all hyped up in the military. Shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. He was loving it. And the fact that, like, Linkin Park played at the end, what I've done, he's like, yes, (laughs) yes. Oh, that was the best movie I've ever seen. And I'm like, Alex, you're fucking lame. Anyways. You know, Alex, you know what's crazy? My brother is an Air Force Ben. This reminded me. I thought this was, this is not funny. I'm not saying that 9-11 was funny, but my brother enlisted into the Air Force. I don't know if you remember, like, a week before 9-11. Like, I, so I, he enlisted, no, no, then no. 9-11 happened, and the first thing I did was call my brother, and I'm like, you're fucked. No, I called, <laughs> listen, this is the first thing I did on right. 9-11 was I called your brother, and I'm like, you gotta get out, man! You gotta get out! You're gonna fucking die! Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it was crazy, dude. Yeah. We just Bad totally luck. went off on a tangent that has nothing to do with summer movies. Yeah, but it was funny. Yes. So um, I think Wonder Woman had the best set, pe- the action, best action set pieces. Better than Spider Man. Spider Man had no. So action. you're 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 making Wonder Woman the best movie because of its its set design. No, no, the action pieces, like the action sets, like so the part where the Amazonians fight off the Nazis on the beach. Yes. Um, the yeah, part yeah, where yeah, she yeah, crosses yeah. over the. Uh, the no man's yeah, land. Yeah, the no man's land. So yeah. I thought, you know, even the last so I thought. So I thought that the action was the best in Wonder Woman. The story wasn't horrible. You know, Gil Godot was surprisingly good. I, I, I thought it was um, just better. All right, so what's the problem with Hollywood? So the problem with Hollywood, I think, is that 
And this can be seen because I don't know if you've noticed the lack of comedies recently. Huge lack of comedies. In the past, like, ten years, right? And and the only comedies that we're seeing are, like, uh, there's a lot of black comedies still. You know, there's a big audience for that, whether it's Kevin Hart films or what's the other guy? The guy that makes uh, Medea. Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. Yeah, those movies, you know, like like there's a huge. They had that Girls Trip, which is which is another no, black comedy. But, but there's also but, the, there's, so, so there's, there's, there's also there's, the, there's, a, there's a market for that. Right. Uh, there's there's but, always going to be niche comedies, but what I'm saying is there's no longer the major studio comedies, right? No, no. There's there's. I think the last one to come out was maybe Hangover Two. Right, because Hangover One did so well. So because like, it did so well, let's, let's invest a lot of. But money Hangover in Hangover One was also like but at hang- the time like low budget. It wasn't super low budget. As right. was as was Forty Year Old Virgin. As right. was super bad. Which is the only type as, of movies they invest yes. in now. So so the, there's a reason for that, right? And again, you saw it when you were reading off the numbers, right? If a yeah. movie's going to fail in America, right, more often than not, where they're going to make their money is going to be in China. Well, yeah, because the the the, the comedy translates different. Right. So the, since because yeah. comedy does not translate. As well yeah. as they say, action, right? But it, they completely wipe that out. How does that contribute to a crappy summer and and Hollywood making crappy movies though? Because the the movies are more general now. There's there's nothing for you to really identify with it. It's it, they're just general. Okay, so then how come? All right, they're so bland. How come Dunkirk didn't do better than it did then? Because I didn't see Dunkirk, but I'm sure it's amazing. Right, I'm sure it is. You know, the Mother just came out. In I've the, heard in, horrible. In I've heard horrible mixed reviews. things. No, I, no I've, I've heard, heard. I've heard mixed reviews. I've I've no. heard. I've heard half the people love it. Half the people don't like it. And and, and it comes down to people either understanding. It's one of twelve movies the, that ever got an F on Cinema Score. Listen, that's another thing too. I think I think online movie grading and critics are really damaging studios. Like I think Rotten Tomatoes is horrible. Like it's either it's fresh fan- or it's unfresh. Fan- it's fantastic. No, it's not because you want to know what if it's it, it's one thing. It's either it's either black or white, good or bad. There's no there, there's no rating. You know what I mean? And 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 that makes sense. So if people see if people see a bad rate, you know, it's unfresh. They're not gonna go see it. Yeah, but it takes a lot to be unfresh. It takes a fucking lot. And let me tell you. So here's the thing: why I appreciate it because after reading all the fucking reviews, I 100 percent will never watch Mother. And I'm a huge Darren Aronofsky fan. You're not gonna watch Mother. I love Darren. Ar- his movies, like Pie, is one of my favorite movies of all time. I love Requiem for a Dream. The Swan was great. La Fountain, like he's great. Right. So you know it's gonna be a weird movie. Right, but I'm not gonna see that one specifically. Why? Just just because Rotten Tomatoes said it's garbage. Because the the reviews are just. They're so bad. Actually... And Hollywood loves all that pretentious bullshit. So if you have a pretentious-ass movie getting a bad grade, it's going to be fucking terrible. Let me let me take it a step further, all right? Sure. So the Emmys just aired this past weekend. Lowest rated ever, okay? And r- relatively speaking, of course, to, you know, population increase. But um, do you think that... Hollywood is is suffering financially in the box office and even through television ratings and stuff like that because of the politics due to the politics of 100 percent because we okay so it cannot it cannot be a coincidence right that at the same time that Hollywood is suffering right that no one's watching the enemies that the NFL is getting the lowest ratings ever that ESPN is on the verge of just fucking shutting down because they're losing people right it cannot be a coincidence that all these different Avenues have become so political, and not just political, right? To the I, left. No, they're 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 to the left. Right. They're 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 liberal and they're anti-Trump and anti-Republican. And I think that's hurting them. So so, what does that say about this country? That this country is 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 predominantly conservative. I, I mean, as far as as a, when did as, the as change? Whole? When would the changeover have happened to liberalism? It's always been a conservative country, right? I mean, I I, I don't know, but but it's so. So do you think do you think it's it's possible that in the future that studio execs, um, network execs might mandate to their actors, actresses, uh, staff, all that stuff like that to take a neutral approach and and don't be so actively vocal about no, their you, personal I, I, opinions? I, I think that's 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 it's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. It's not. It's too big. It's 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 it's. I mean, the only way to counterbalance this is to get actually try to get some conservative voices, would be my opinion. The only way to fix this, it's and and we're, we're in a comic book store, so we see this a lot in the comics. Most 
of the comics writers are very left wing, very liberal. Absolutely. And I'm not talking moderate, which is yeah. fine. And I'm not even talking Democrat. I'm talking about left wing, like ultra, right? And and it's coming through in the comics, and and so they're not going to be able to change all these writers in the way they write. You just got to get some conservative voices. All right. So so okay. So all right. Let me. We we are in a comic book store. We're at Corker Comics in Miami. Right. We have a store in Pembroke Pines. Follow us on YouTube, Corker Comics. But aside from that, do you? As much as I love the genre, are we oversaturated with with the superhero genre? Uh, no, we're not. Is there too much of that? Absolutely not. Is is America bored? No, because all America really wants is a good story. But it, let's be real, dude. Are there really good stories anymore? There's not. You but know? The, but the writing has suffered, and and the thing is now that people are writing with an agenda. Not only is it not entertaining for me, the minute I open that Superman book, so. For all that you don't know, the new action comics came out, the lenticular, uh, talking about who is Dr. Oz. Spoilers. Spoilers. So, um, Spoilers. It, if you didn't read it, it pause came out, now. It came out last week. Just so you guys know, we did get all our book. Both stores have all our books. They're all out on the shelves for available for purchase. Uh, Dark Knight Metal 2 came out, which is really important. And then Oz, which is going to be the whole who is Dr. Oz in action comics. It's a lenticular cover. It's been on the news. It's really popular. So I started flipping through that. I'm not going to tell you guys what happens in the comic. You should read it yourself. But there is a scene where apparently this redneck... Um, he's portrayed as a redneck with an American flag as his bandana, decides to go kill some illegal immigrants. Okay. Right? And then Superman jumps in front of the illegal immigrants and says, no, you can't do this, and, and you have a black heart. And, 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 the, and the, um, the redneck basically says, oh, but they stole something that was mine, I'm referring to his jobs, you know, the whole debate. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and Superman goes on to say, you have a dark black heart. So I'm reading that, and I'm just like, no, not going to read this. I don't give a fuck who Dr. Is Oz is now because they inserted politics into a place where I don't want to see politics, which is my entertainment. It's my escape. Okay. Like, I don't want to see it. I don't want to have to worry about what nationality fucking Hulk is going to be next week. Like, I and I don't care. I just want good writing. But because they're pushing an agenda, the writing doesn't, it falls to the wayside. So, it's not the superhero genre that's killing Hollywood. It's not... No, Logan made a ton of money. Logan was one of the best-reviewed movies of the year. Logan was considered even... It, it, they don't talk about Logan as a superhero movie. Like, Logan was is one of the best movies of the year alone, right? Do you, do you, think, do you think consumers are, are sick of, this, of, of sequels and, and oversaturation of stories that are ever heard? I mean, think about it. We have another Alien movie. Oh. We have another... It was Guardians 2... We had uh, 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 another Despicable Me, another uh, Fast and the Furious. Yeah, but another Kingsman is coming Fast out. Fast and the Furious made, made so much fucking money, so no, people aren't sick of sequels. But but so then, what's going on? Why why do we well, have the, such a bad season? I guess season? the expectation when you go into a Fast and the Furious is you're going to see a stupid as fuck movie. So a bunch I guess of cars. a bunch of people like stupid as fuck movie about cars. Which, now, by the way, Gone in sixty seconds is a way better car movie than any of the Fast and the Furious. I just think. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess Bullet is better than all of them, no? Oh. Steve McQueen. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right. Um, again, I just think that what happens is these movies have just been bland. Um, you know, so, I mean, I mean, so so look at look so so summer movies have to be bland because summer movies are these big extravaganzas. They have to translate. They got to make their money back, right? The movies have to be popular in China. They have to be popular in other places, right? When you see all these fucking weird movies, these niche movies, it's going to be now in the Oscar season. So now is when you're going to see stuff like Blade Runner and shit like that that doesn't necessarily have to make their money overseas because they were made with with. with Which I I, I hope Blade Runner is good, but I'm not I'm not looking forward to it. I, I mean, mean, I didn't I didn't even like the original to be honest. I know my brother my brother wants to kill me when I say that, but I I just didn't. Like one of the best sci-fi movies ever made. Really? You and my that brother should hang so out. so sad. Jeez. Anyways. Uh, so, uh, all right. So, we have, like I said, Kingsman's coming up, Blade Runner, Thor Ragnarok. Just- I don't believe that Redneck should be killing Mexicans, by the way. Okay. Justice I, League. My complaint is only yeah, that I, I don't I, want I, I any politics yes. okay. in my uh, comments. I, I heard you. Justice League is coming out. Yeah. We also have uh, uh, Star Wars Episode Thor. 8 coming out. I said Thor. Um, is that going to save the year? Well, Star Wars is going to make a shit lot of shit ton of money, right? Star Wars is absolutely. How much did the episode uh, seven make? You remember? Was it a shit ton? 
It did not beat Titanic or Avatar. It's number. It's a third okay, biggest so, yeah. selling movie ever. Right, so, so Star Wars is going to make a shit ton of money. It should have. It should have hit number one. Justice the fact, League the is... fact that it didn't beat Titanic and Avatar, like James Cameron for life, you are, you're the man, dude. That, um, that's a huge accomplishment. Justice League is going to make a lot of money, a lot of money. I hope it's good. I mean, look, here's the thing, though, right? Steppenwolf if, is a shitty villain, man. If if Wonder Woman wasn't wouldn't wasn't as successful as it was, then Justice League would be in trouble. Big trouble. But because Wonder Woman was so successful, this is like the perfect time for Justice yeah, League. Yeah, but now we're going to see too much Wonder. I think it's going to be an oversaturated. I think I think Wonder Woman is going to be like 50% of screen time. And then, no, like 40%. Batman's going to be 20. And then they'll divide the remaining 40% between the rest of the members. I don't know. Aquaman's, you know, making waves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to um, actually kill myself now. <laughs> that was a fucking lame joke, dude. Shame on you. What, did Batsy tell you that one? Mm. Anyways. <laughs> so, uh, anyways. Uh, and Thor. Thor's gonna look, Thor will make at least Thor, as much as Guardians of the Galaxy. Th- no, it's not. It's not going to make yeah, as well. much as, as Guardians of the Galaxy. Thor, I, I hope, is good, but I have a feeling it's going to suck a dick, dude. It, it looks like they wanted, like, like let's make Guardians 2.5. Yeah, so it's going to make as much money as Guardians 2. But it makes no sense. It doesn't exist in the Thorverse. Like, I don't know. I whatever. mean, Hela looks awesome, though. You got to give it right. Hela looks great. Yeah, she looks good, but she kind of looks like Rita from the Power Rangers reboot. Rita also looks great. Yeah, which I saw the Power Rangers reboot. It was horrible. Oh, I haven't seen it. Yeah. It, we're lucky that's not a summer movie because that might have been my worst movie of the, su- of the summer. Anyways, um... Let's talk about other th- stuff that was re- revealed a week ago. We couldn't talk about it because of the hurricane, but um, they fired the director on episode nine, and they hired J.J. Abrams to come in, finish the trilogy, and write write the third act. What do you think? Which, by the way, in case you didn't know, there is a fan petition going around to remove J.J. Abrams. And then I'm sure there's people that love the fact that J.J. Abrams is... Um, um, I believe that as a director, J.J. Abrams is a fucking hack. So I think that's terrible. Is that because episode seven was so much like A New Hope? Or are you talking that's all his body every, of work as a whole? his whole body of work. Because Star Trek II was basically Wrath of Khan regurgitated? Right. Star Trek One was amazing. Tell me that was a bad movie. No, Star Trek One was fine. It was fucking all great. His, wait, wait, wait. All his movies are great. Yes. Right. They were also great when they were made originally by a different creative person before they were hacked. Wow. So like, look, Cloverfield. Cloverfield? Cloverfield's amazing. Incredible. It's the best way, monster movie I've ever yeah, seen. Way to make Godzilla. Which, by the way, I saw 10 Cloverfield Lane during the hurricane. Yeah. Mm. It was... Uh, mm. You know, I'll tell you what. I actually really... Lo- I like 10 Cloverfield Lane until she gets out. What, and the aliens are there? Yeah. That was fucking the fucking weird dog thing. They made John Goodman tell the truth, though. Yeah, even though he was a, a murdering crazy yeah. man at the same at the same time. But it time. was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, so I uh, I think uh, I think I, I'm excited. Like J.J. Abrams, I think everything he touches is good. I never saw the one was super. What is it? What was it? Super Eight. Yeah, I did not see Super I didn't Eight. See either. Super Eight. The the preview was great, but then I heard it was like an E.T. wannabe. Oh, see, <laughs> there you go, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, Batsy, do we have any comments or questions? Why did they fire him from... Did they say anything about why they fired him? Um, they didn't fire him. No, oh, the other oh, director. Oh, I didn't I didn't check. I'm sure they did. Because they were trying to say that supposedly this was going to be dark because it was going to follow along the temp- template established by uh, Empire. So this was supposed to be the trilogy's uh, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, okay, well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. So 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 Batsy, there's there's no uh, there's no. I can't read that. <sighs> Batsy, right, Batsy, 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 Batsy. Yeah, he's so on edge lately. He is on edge. He is on edge. Someone bring him a Valium. It's very abusive. Um, better yeah, give him bring him a Vicodin. <laughs> a Quaalude. Nobody bring me any Valiums. <laughs> no, don't bring one anything. He's almost out. <laughs> um, anything else going on? I mean, while you were like looking stuff up, I talked about Wentworth. Oh, so now that we're closing the summer, Defenders was the best uh, summer. I don't know superhero show. <laughs> there were no superheroes. Yeah, there was. This summer. 
I'm tr- look, man. I'm Everything trying. Because then like- what happens is when you turn the camera off, you're gonna be like, dude, you gotta try harder. I'm fucking trying. <laughs> so I'm copying you and just turn it into TV shows. So dude, dude, Defenders. The, Defenders sucked. The Tick. Right. The Tick was great. The Tick was amazing. Iron Fist. Horrible. Iron Fist wasn't this summer. That was the beginning of the year, right? Yeah. It was like it was like six months ago. Like it was it was in like May. I don't know. Whatever. Right. Iron Fist sucked it. The Tick was really good. Tick was great. If you guys haven't seen Tick on Amazon Prime, like, go watch it. It is, it is the cartoon in live action. So, so now that we're starting the fall and all these TV shows are going to get started up, even the ones that, what are you most looking forward to? Game of Thrones, is it for you? Game of Thrones is done for another year and a half. No, but like, what show are you most looking for forward to its return? To its return? You, Game of Thrones is it? I don't. It's not. Game for of me. Thrones isn't I coming. I quit to like, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones isn't coming. To I like quit Walking like Dead. Twenty nineteen. Walking Dead's coming out soon, right? Yeah, that's coming out soon. I mean, the show I'm looking forward to most uh, Gotham, coming yeah. coming back. It's probably got to be Walking Dead se- season eight. Okay. I'm looking forward to that. Um, Any predictions? Major deaths. I no, I'm no. I I I'm, I need to take a minute. I don't want to waste scream time. Uh-huh. To even I, I I totally forgot what happened. I know they're doing the all out war storyline. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's gonna be some crazy shit. Walking Dead season eight should be good. Star Trek Discovery airs this Sunday. The pilot, and then you have to stream. Um, the rest I'm actually. Of it. Did I tell you that I was actually boycotting that show? Right. Why? Well, so they came out and said that basically you, you, you don't like black fem- female leads. No, I love black female leads. Okay. Um, I just don't like white guys. So, um, the woman, they came out and said the writing team was writing this show during the election when Trump was running against Hillary. Okay. And, uh, and so they decided to base what they did was, um, there's a lot of that infused into the shows and the Trump supporters are Klingons. (laughs) Who told you that shit? What was that a Fox news report? No, no, it's like, I'm. Bleeding core, is that comic a book resources. No, it's on a comic book thing. Okay, I don't read Breitbart, guys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you got to be very explicit. I don't want people to misunderstand me. <laughs> misunderstand you? Yeah. Okay. So I don't like it already because it's political. Okay. Uh, what else is coming out? I mean, you, you gifted. Got- I'm super excited for gifted. Stranger Things too. The Gifted, which is the the X Men, the heroes. Yes, reboot that's gonna thing, be good. Right? I, I hope it's gonna be good. You know, a Prison Break reboot. I hated Prison Break in the first place. Oh, uh, you're 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 just an awful uh, human. being. I just never got into it. it just Prison Break season one's like the one of the best seasons of television ever. I don't know, whatever. And then your 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 stupid Gotham. Yeah, Gotham is coming back. Yeah, can't believe it's lasted this long. <sighs> and it's apparently like he's gonna suit up, Bruce. No. Yeah. Really? He's gonna suit up? Gotham is so good, dude. <laughs> what what you- the fuck is wrong with you guys? Not the uh, ba- but it's like a Daredevil thing. Oh my god, Gotham is so good. Whatever. Except Selena Kyle. She fucking sucks. But everything else is great about that show. Uh, whatever. Oh, they gave her the whip? What does that mean? Is that Why a aren't you watching? This is, ex- this is awesome, dude. Look, speaking of Selena Kyle, I was watching the Emmys on Sunday night, mm. and Michelle Pfeiffer looks amazing at her age. Michelle Pfeiffer is one of the most beautiful women that's ever oh my existed, dude. God, she looks beautiful. Michelle Pfeiffer in Scarface, when she's coming down the elevator in that green dress, that is one of the most beautiful, this most beautiful she's ever been. Scarface, well, it's it, it's great. Anyways, uh, I I don't I don't have anything else to say. It's been a lackluster summer. J.J. Uh, Abrams, we'll see what you do with nine. We'll see how eight is first. What were we talking about nine for? Jumping no. the gun, and uh, Toys R Us. Go shop at Toys R Us. Save the giraffe, or, you know. Shop at Amazon and Fuck save a lot Amazon. of money. Listen, uh, listen, that guy, that guy looks like Lex Luthor, straight up. Yeah, he is our real life Lex Luthor. Yeah. Except he's not smart and genius like Lex Luthor. He's just a business guy. He can't invent shit. All right. Well, I hope there's an antitrust lawsuit coming soon. He owns everything. It seems. Yeah, like, he's. They bought Whole Foods. I know. It's crazy. Fucking nuts. Insane. Listen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, uh, if you are in the South Florida region, we filmed this show in Miami. We have two locations, Corker Comics in Miami on 107th and 8th Street, and then another in Pembroke Pines on Pines Boulevard, just East University. This Saturday is Batman Day, so if you come in on Saturday, we have free comics, and Harley Quinn apparently is invading Batman Day because it's her 25th anniversary. 
Mm. So, free Batman and Harley Quinn comics to anyone that comes in. We have little fun Batman and Harley Quinn masks to give out to the kitties. And uh, that's all day while supplies last. So, come grab that. Um, and if anyone wants to come, what do you give me? The Batman Day comics. What, what is this shit? It's compliments of Batsy. Look, there's there it is right there. That's Harley Quinn. Look, some more Harley Quinn. Some more Harley Quinn. Oh, my God. Yeah. Come in in your Batman themed cosplay too, and you'll get a free gift on us. Uh, you know, catches, we gotta take your picture, and that's that's about it, right? Um, Friday night for any of you that are interested in Friday. This Friday at midnight is the Ixalan pre-release for Magic: The Gathering. Holy shit, we that's will, already. I know, dude. Damn, time These things flying. are getting faster. Wow. Yeah. That, that'll be at the Miami location. One, at the Miami location. Um, therefore, uh, Friday we won't be closing at all. Um, will be open straight through. Uh, the pre-release does start at midnight. It usually goes till about six in the morning. Yeah. Um, please. So if anything, just come and hang out with Juan. Yeah. Please call at uh call us at seven eight six seven one seven five 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 seven at the Miami location to reserve a spot. Uh, it is going to be limited. Uh, Friday night will be the only night we will be running it. Well, I was going to ask you if you wanted to work Batman Day, but I guess you can't. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. That's <laughs> yeah, not going to happen. No. Oh. No, Susie, no. are you watching? Like, uh, can at, you come at in? At Susie Fett. Right? At Susie Fett, can you come? At Susie Fett, can you come in? No. Booty shorts. Yeah, well. Right? Yeah. I don't know, man. Are uh, we going to see all these movies? Are we going to keep doing this? Keep doing what? This this whole thing we're doing. Yeah, yeah, why not? Okay, I'm just watching. Yeah, so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, just go to YouTube and search Corker Comics and subscribe there. Uh, once again, we're on Facebook Live, Instagram Live, all that fun stuff. Uh, Batsy, can, 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 you, can you close us out here? So I don't have to get up and abandon Juan. So Bat Batsy's Batsy's our he's gonna our, turn it off. Our, our 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 person right here. So you should cut yeah. us off in the middle no, of us talking uh, uh, it, and make it look organic. Ready? Yeah, let's yeah, let's just, fake it and make it look. Yeah, good. just 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 do it, Batsy. Ready? Just, just cut it off. Him. We're just we're talking Get about movies him. and.